Okay, just the paper on the top. Okay, just the paper. So this one, white yeah. color, orange, you know, working from this. Okay, orange is very important, this one. Like, very important, this one. Okay, so I said, not, I'm honest, not fully freehand. So this is still working from that. Okay, okay, T square. Everything you have to connect it to VP. Never ignore the VP. Okay, so now I'm working for accessory. Okay. So big line. Okay, another one, another box on the top. Okay. I'm gonna keep this one horizontal line. I save this horizontal line. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can use a And also vertical line, I have one vertical line, I have reference, reference vertical line here. I just a trace from background. I refine the line, vertical line. Okay, so make sure all vertical line, that's per perpendicular from horizontal line, that's vertical. Okay, so this step, the if you use ink might take depend on how complex could be one hour could be two hour depend on how complex okay yeah okay so accessory okay okay so the plan okay. Accessory and also connect it to end point to another validation points. See, validation points, never ignore that. Okay, let the VP. This is just ink. Cross line. Okay, very sketchy. This is a accessory, accessory. The the pot, flower, and the maybe book, books, and the coffee table. Okay. Make sure connected to VP. Action points. Then vertical line. Vertical. Okay, working the same time. I'm working. Line, 
Detail. Mm -hmm. Detail. I use 0.5. I use 0.3. 0.3. <coughs> I use 0.3. Okay. Then. This is a flow represented the shadow. Okay. Then I'm going to give it to take a look at this is a black, black detail. This one curve line I can use the free hand, no problem. Okay, now repeat it. I got a left. Okay, I got a left. So, depending on style, I'm working for traditional. Yeah. Okay, so I got another one leg and also to go. Okay, so anyway, the. Connect the VP. Okay. And also blow. Typical chair. Try to make a make a leg. Normally it's looking better. Okay, make a leg. Yeah. <coughs> Pushing. Okay, so this is arm. First, I use a straight line, then I freehand make a curve shape. Absolutely, that's curve shape, okay? Yeah, it's curve. And also, a little bit more detail. I said it depends on your style. Maybe your style could be like this. Connected to VP. And also, uh, I got a hello. Watch here. Uh, back. Connected to VP. Okay, first, no. we could add a rock. Three, still do three. <coughs> rock, add a rock here. <coughs> rock. Then, hard of the floor. Hard of the floor, never ignore the, the wood. 
the 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 of the plank. Okay. You have to connect it to validation point. Never ignore that. Make that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe this one I need to use long ruler. You have to use long ruler. The T square. That's standard. Okay. Standard. Okay. So you have to connect connect it to VP. Okay. For the error rug, make a double line for this one, okay. Also add a little bit more fade for how to go floor. Next step, okay. zero eight punch line. Okay. Uh, later, you can keep it at more punch line, okay. VP, make sure, okay. Punchline. Okay. Okay. Okay, and also next step, I get a punchline. Next step, I'm going to add a shadow. Add a depend on, depend on style. Depend on style, okay. So anyway, here, typical. Your dark and light camera working vertical line. Shading area. Okay, look at dark. And on this part, I'm going to use a. Uh, I'm going to use a. You use use a black marker later. Okay, and also reflection. Reflection, which is perpendicular from surface. So table, if this is a reflection. <coughs> yeah, this what depend on complex how complex your project. May take more time, okay. Vertical stroke and also the hardwood floor, maybe vertical stroke. And also rock. Maybe you have a pattern or maybe you have a texture. Okay, let me just make like a texture. For a little bit texture. Okay, rock. Okay, white pencil later, absolutely. Okay, I'm going to apply to the yellow. And also this one, I'm going to apply to the Okay. 
then I'm gonna use a, you cannot apply too many layers this type of this type of this type of color and also I'll typically apply a little bit of lighter won't like another paper, it will smear the color. Won't apply too many layer. Okay? Because this type of paper won't absorb your color. Be careful. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Won't absorb. Be careful. Okay. And also Now I'm going to use a black. Don't be afraid to use black. Don't be afraid to use a black. Black color. Absolutely underneath object. Go ahead and give it a high contrast to use a black. Don't be afraid to use a black. High contrast. Just black. Okay. Just black. Light, it's difficult to determine light. Light typical from top. Right. From top, this one. Okay, from top, just give it high contrast. Okay, so this one, you, you cannot blend too much. I use number five. One gray. Couch. Okay. And more detail. And also, number one, maybe number one. And also, cannot you cannot go back to black color too much. If you go back too much, it will smear. But sometimes smear a little bit, that's okay. But not too much. Okay, smear a little bit, doesn't matter. Okay. And now, number. Okay, the number. The number. Okay, the number. Then the, the detail for the accessory. The accessory and also flower. Also leave, I can use a green, green color. Or I just use red, purple. Okay, oh. I use red color. Black for object still receive the strong shadow. This is a shadow. Make sure shadow is not a punchline. Shadow is shadow, just black. Okay, shadow. It has to be a little bit lighter and. Uh, yeah, we will apply light color later. Yeah. Also, brown. Detail. Not too many details, actually. Okay, then I use gray. Number two. Okay, so now the color. Color. Color almost the finish. Mark. Typical the edge. That's white color. Edge. And also reflection. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, got it. I use white a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay, so edge, white. Hello. Edge. Okay. Reflection. Highlight. And also, uh, out of the floor, use color pencil on the top. Not a very, not a very good when you apply color pencil for white paper, but it is better than nothing. Make sure. And also later, I will give you an idea. We can use different background, even the carpet. I apply a little bit. Air rock, a little bit horizontal. Take a look at direction. Air rock, I apply horizontally. But the the reflected surface, I apply vertical stroke. Okay, so this is reflected. Represent the reflected material. Okay, I apply that. White, take a look at here. Hello. The flower. Detail, glass. And also, table reflection. And also, baby highlight. Even the arrow rock. Okay, now I give you an idea. I finished that. If you use gray paper behind, you can see all the reflection. Okay, you can see all the reflection. Oh, you can see all the highlight. I'm gonna, yeah. So here I cannot read it very well. This is white background. So this is why I mentioned you can use the color paper. Okay, color paper. Okay, so I, a little, I can use the paper, add more detail. This is indicated the error rock. More reflection. So this one. Okay. Okay, so now if you scan, use gray paper, okay, you can make a different effect. So anyway, scan says you can scan two times. First time gray, another time white.